Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia if you're new here. In today's video, the whole thing that sparked this was I had recently picked up a few Adept Cosmetics palettes and I have just been so busy that I haven't been able to film with those and I really wanted to film with those the first time that I tried that formula. So I picked up several. The one that is going to be the focus of today's video is the Minka eyeshadow palette. This one retails for $57 and I will say in general their eyeshadow palettes do range between $57 and $58. There is one on sale that I'm going to mention but we'll get into that. Now this one is is absolutely beautiful. I think this is probably the most like everyday type of color story that I picked up anyway. I love, 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 love these shimmers. You will see swatches here in just a minute, but yeah, these are absolutely stunning. Um, next up, I'm going to mention the Heather Austin palette. Now, I didn't see this one on their website anymore, but out of all the color stories that I picked up, this is probably the one that gets me the most excited. I think that the way that all of these shades work together is just beautiful. I love a grungy look. You guys know that. And yeah, I just can get down with this color story and cannot wait to play with that one. I also picked up the Plain Jane. Now this one is a 100% shimmer palette, which is fine with me because Adept Shimmers <laughs> I have found are extremely pigmented, easy to work with, beautiful, all of that you will see later on in the video. But this is a palette that is chock full of them. I think this is such a beautiful palette for spring and love these like shifty colors in this palette the purples and the blues the greens you've got like this peachy tone so pretty and then last up is the one that like I mentioned was on sale this one is on sale for 30 bucks this is the amunet there's a light version and a dark version I got the dark version. The only difference in the two is this one shade right here. In the dark version, it is a navy blue. And in the light version, it is like a light taupey type of a shade. Um, I just thought that I would get more use out of the dark blue. And it would be a better addition to my collection, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I think that this is beautiful as well. I actually have a little bit of this dark navy blue on the upper lash line just to help define that area. But yeah, the Minka and the Plain Jane, I actually picked out to go into my palette addict project because I wanted to get a lot of use out of these two. This one because I love the color story and this one because it just reminds me of spring. Now I somehow, even though I picked these out for spring, I managed to get a pretty grungy type of a look. Those are kind of just the looks that I gravitate towards. So yeah, that is what we're going to be doing today. Now I did dip into another palette that is in that project from Too Faced. This is the Too Femme palette. Love the packaging on this one. So pretty. But yeah, I wasn't sure if this one was really going to stick around or not. I had just remembered, you know, a bad first impression when I used this the first time and I hadn't really used it since. But I did dip into this for some of the mattes in this palette. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you some swatches of the Minka palette, which is the star of today's show. All right, so here is a swatch of this palette look at these shimmers, the reflex in those. They are absolutely stunning. That is just one dip in with my finger and just one solid swatch for each. This is probably one of the most insane shimmer formulas that I have ever tried out. And yeah, I think these are really something special. I cannot wait to keep using all of these palettes. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So the Minka palette is going to be the main focus of today's video, but there are no real like matte shades that I feel like I can use in today's video with what I have on and the look that I was going for. So I'm gonna go into another palette that is in my Makeup Addict project. <laughs> if you guys did not catch that video, it went up right before this one. So I will link it down below in the description bar in case you're interested. But this is the Too Faced Too Femme palette. I've only used this I think once and that was like in the first impressions review video that I did. 
but this is the color story here. I remember these eyeshadows being very lackluster, not pigmented. So I wanted to put this in this project to see how I liked them, like really give it a try and see, you know, how they can work. So we're going to go into this today. It smells really, really good. It smells like a light, like kind of florally fruity type of a perfume. And I think the first shade that I'm going to go into is this peachy one right here. So I'm just going to take a big fluffy blending brush. It's super powdery. There's like powder kicking up everywhere, but that's okay. Just mentioning it. Um, and I'm just going to throw this in the crease. Now, as usual, I'm just going to do one eye on camera, one eye off of camera, just for the sake of time. But that actually blended really nicely and it was pretty pigmented. So maybe I am remembering wrong. But yeah, I also wanted to mention I prepped my eyelids. You guys know I always use MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I am still using a paint pot today, but I've been using this one a ton. It's in the shade Layin' Low, and it's just a little bit darker, and it's got more of like a yellow base. So I feel like anytime I'm using like some mustardy browns or like golds or something like that, I have been reaching for this one. Just thought I would give it a mention. All right, next up, I'm gonna take like a more concentrated blending brush and I'm gonna go into, I think this more like mustardy shade here to kind of go more with the colors I'm wearing. I don't know if they even sell this palette anymore. If so, I will have it linked down below just in case you're interested. But I'm gonna do kind of like a halo eye with this brown. The palette that we're using, Adept, I have heard that the shimmers are amazing, but that they can be a little bit more sheer sometimes. So that's why I'm kind of putting a little bit of color down beforehand, just in case that's the case with the shades we use today. All right, and then I'm gonna concentrate this just directly in the eye socket which will be a little bit lower than that peachy shade we were using. Hmm. That shade I feel like is not that pigmented. Like I would expect this one to be deeper than this shade, but really I feel like this is a more intense color once you actually have it on the lid. All right, next up, I'm gonna go into the darkest shade in this palette, which is not even that dark of an eyeshadow. But I'm going to take just a little packing brush and I'm just going to apply this to the outer corners. And then going back in with that crease brush, no additional product, I'm just going to very lightly go between all of these shades. So I feel like these blended into each other really nicely. Definitely not the most pigmented, but I feel like these were very easy to work with. So I don't know. We will keep giving that one a try. Now, the one that I am so excited about is this one from Adept. Again, I purchased several of these palettes on the brand's website, but I have not used any of them yet. And I think I'm going to go into this shade right here. I just feel like it would look really good with what I have on. This is the shade Nora. Now all of these you can pronounce, but I do believe that Adept Cosmetics in general is a Swedish brand. A lot of the other palettes you can't or I can't pronounce the shade names. So just FYI, but these are all like actual people's names. So I'm going to go into Nora. Now this <laughs> looks crazy, crazy intense. It feels more like a cream and yeah, super duper intense for sure. Wow, that is beautiful. Honestly, I think I'm just going to take that all over. <laughs> Wow. 
Okay, I think I do want to deepen that outer edge out again really quickly. So I'm just gonna go back into that Too Femme palette into this shade right here, the darkest shade. And I'm just gonna kind of tap over this outer edge over here. And then I'm gonna take my finger, kind of tap over. And I'm just gonna kind of do that back and forth until I get the look that I want. I am also going to take a little concentrated blending brush and I'm going to go back into that orangey brown type of a shade. I'm going to look down and put this directly into the crease. Just right where that gold meets. Just to make sure we don't have any glitter flecks or kind of limiting the amount of glitter flecks in the crease. All right, I'm taking the very, very first brush that we used, no additional product, and all up here under the brow, I'm just gonna kind of go in circles and windshield wiper motions just to kind of help diffuse that line. Okay, and do you see how that just softened that right up? I'm also going to put some highlighter under the brow, whichever highlighter that I use today, that is something that I always do. I do think I want to add one more touch and I'm gonna go into another one of my adept palettes. All right, so this is the Amunet palette. This is the dark version and I'm gonna go into this blue right here, Seth and I'm gonna line my upper lash line with that. So I'm just taking this on a little smudger brush and just very, very close to the lash line. Right, that is gonna be it for the upper lash line. I'm gonna go ahead, do the other eye, do a good bit of the rest of my makeup, and then we'll be back to finish off the eyes. I'm back, I've got on most of the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna run you through what I have on the rest of my face really quickly. So I have on the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I have mine in the shade NW13. For concealer, I have on my Makeup Forever. This one, I feel like this one is setting optional. I don't feel like you have to set this one. But this is the Ultra HD Concealer, and I have mine in shade 12. I set everything down with the Jouer Radiant Translucent Powder. I love this powder so much. You guys know I had this in my last Makeup Addict project, and I hit major pan on it, so I'm trying to just finish that one off. Then for bronzer, this is another Makeup Addict product right here. This is from Tarte. This is the Park Avenue Princess like bronzing palette. You can set your face with these two colors. I have done that before, but then you have all of these different bronzer slash contour shades. Some of these are matte. Some of them have a little bit of shimmer. They all smell like chocolate. I kind of mix in between all of them and just create my own custom color, but I have been loving this palette as well. For my highlighter, I went into a, another MAC favorite. This one is actually from the Whitney Houston collection. This is the Just Whitney Extra Dimension Skin Finish, and I feel like it just looks glass-like whenever you have it on the skin. I feel like there's no like shimmer in here. It's not, you know, enhancing any texture or anything like that. I feel like the light just bounces off of it so pretty, and yeah, I love this shade. For my blush, I pulled out one from REM Beauty. This one is Chorus Girl, and I just thought that this muted peach color would look really good with what we had going on in the crease on the eyes. So I just kind of took a brush, ran it over this, and then tapped that on my cheeks. But yeah, now we can go ahead and finish up the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna go back into the Too Faced Too Femme palette. And again, I'm gonna go into that peachy shade that we used first off all over the crease as a transition. And I'm just gonna put that all along the lower lash line. I am tapping this off just because we do have our base makeup down now. And I'm really kind of bringing this down far. I definitely want this peachy shade to show through with what else we're gonna be putting on top.
I really, really do like this shade. I think it's very pretty for spring. All right, so I felt like that blended out really effortlessly and I'm gonna kind of just mock what I have going on on the upper lid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back into this orangey brown type of a shade. And I'm gonna put this just like on the outer half. So just bringing it halfway, kind of like to my mid pupil over here. That's just gonna deepen that up a little bit, make it a little bit more smoky. And you could probably guess it, I'm gonna go into the deepest shade over here. And I'm just gonna put that on the very outer third. All right, going back in with that one brush, no additional product, and I'm just gonna go over all of these shades. All right, now for the inner corner. I was gonna say, I kind of wanna go into this Nora shade here. I don't know how this will even pick up on a brush with that texture, but I'm gonna try to put that right on the inner third. Yeah, that barely picked up anything. Just put down like a very, very minimal amount of sparkles right there. So I don't think that these shimmers are probably ones that you could really use with a brush. Not that one that I just tried anyway. So I think I'm just gonna take this Rare Beauty highlighter. I have mine in the shade Exhilarate. This is such a stunning highlighter. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just pop that on the inner corner. And right here on the inner third as well, just to help brighten. All right, that is it for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead, finish off the other one, put on some mascara, put something on my lips, and then we'll be back for the final look and first impressions. All right, guys, so this is the completed makeup look. I'm very happy with it. I am gonna just run you through how I finished everything off. I put my Say Mascara on the lower lash line, Bite Beauty Upswing on the upper lashes, and then for the lips, I just threw on a MAC lip gloss. This is in the shade Would You Know. This is in the shade Would Rather Lounge, and I feel like this one just looks like super healthy and juicy, like natural though. These hang around for a very, very long time. If you're looking for a long lasting lip gloss, MAC lip gloss is like the way to go. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into these palettes. Now, first off, so this is one that I thought that I would declutter after this Makeup Addict project. Um, but honestly, I thought it performed really well with the shades that I used. Everything was really easy to work with. I think when I first used this palette, I used some of the pastels and I was pretty disappointed with that if I remember correctly. But yeah, I'm interested just to continue playing with this one. We'll see how it goes. But the warmer, just like everyday tones that I used out of this palette, I thought performed really well. I love the way that it smells. I think it is a beautiful palette aesthetically to look at and I like the size of it. So I don't know, we'll see. Now this one is from Adept Cosmetics. Again, this was the first time that I used Adept formula and I did only use one shade from this palette, which is a shame because this is such a stunning palette, but I feel like that's kind of really what this is is a one and done type of a shimmer look. I feel like these shimmers stand out like crazy. I mean, look at this. And I mean, it, that was again, just like one little dip into the pan and it did my whole entire lid. There's no glitter fallout. I feel like it is locked in, like that is not going anywhere until I take it off. Um, and yeah, I mean, I love the shades in this palette. I feel like overall this is a very, very cool toned palette. I feel like if you take this away, everything else is very, very cool toned. I can't wait to get into this like lavender type of a shade right here. This more neutral, taupey brown. This, I feel like as a smoky eye would probably be just insane. So 
I do think it's a weird selection of the mattes that they chose, purples. I feel like they could have chose something more like every day, but um, yeah, I cannot wait to continue to play with this one. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I mean, this one does retail for, I think it was like 57 bucks. It is a little bit pricey, but it is gorgeous. And I think I'm gonna get a ton of use out of this one. These shimmers are so intense and with, um, what eight of the oh sorry 10 of the 12 shades being shimmers yeah I think that this is a really really solid palette all right guys I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you on my next one bye